Well, good morning, everybody. Jeff Slakey here on Daybreak. Got a great new guest here in studio to talk about Turning Point, the Survivor Advocacy Center, and an upcoming domestic violence action event at the Mountain View Alliance Church. Get a chance now to meet the new director of Turning Point, Rachel Elam. Good morning. Good morning, Jeff. Thanks for coming on the air with me. Thanks for inviting me. Uh, we have uh, an event coming up on Saturday from 11 to 3 at the Mountain View Alliance Church. But first, tell me a little bit about yourself, how long you've been at Turning Point, and your role as the new director. Okay. So I've been there for about six years. Um, I started off in the community jobs um, program as a receptionist. Um, before that, though, I was a client. Um, I came from California fleeing my own situation. Really? So, yeah, after uh, a little bit, they helped me out quite a bit and got me into school and got me into work source. Um, so it kind of came full sort circle. Wow. Yeah. How did you find out about the turning point here in Shelton from California? I actually had a friend. I only knew one person up here when I came here. Um, my best friend of 20 years um, used their services. And so she told me when she heard about my situation and she actually paid for our bus tickets. So me and my three kids rode a Greyhound bus all the way up here. Wow. Um, yeah, it was a pretty scary time in my life. And there was many, the bus actually crashed on I-5. Um, and I felt that that was a sign to turn back around. I'm like, God doesn't want me going. Mm -hmm. But I proceeded and um, I'm so glad I did because... Wow. Life is amazing today. Isn't that a great story? And tell me about coming into Shelton for the first night and then being accepted by Turning Point and, and what they were t able to offer you uh, initially. Gosh, Turning Point. I was just so grateful right from the beginning just to have a roof over our heads. Um, I came in. Uh, Susan Merriman is the one that welcomed me. She's an advocate there still. Uh -huh. um, and she had nice warm bedding for us and had clothes and food and just r very welcoming um yeah i was just i came in with the gratitude attitude right from the beginning and they just kept offering me more services um there's a legal advocate there sherry donley that helped me with the protection order um hooked me up with work source to you know get um employed and um just guided me into the college process and everything wow. so they stood by me even after I left the shelter they continued to support me and go to court with me anything I needed I could call them and they were there so so they really did become a good advocate for oh, you definitely you can call 24 hours a day their toll-free hotline at 877-923-1212 when you call that number what mm -hmm. happens um, an advocate will answer if for some reason let's say the advocates in the back and she doesn't get to the phone if there's a voicemail we will return your call within 20 minutes oh wow so and from there, they go uh, kind of uh, assess uh, the situation and, and offer the services either to come down or... Yeah, so there's a shelter screening. And not everybody that comes to Turning Point needs shelter. Some people just need an advocate um, to walk them through the legal process. Or um, we also offer parenting classes. There's a number of things, support group, um, sexual assault support group, and domestic violence support group. They're two different ones. Um, so it's really, you know, we assess what they need, and um, if it is shelter that they are needing, we do a screening and make sure that they are, um, that they qualify to come into the shelter. Turning Point's website is Turning Point with an E at the end there. dot o r g. We'll put the links to that when we post this video here online on Saturday from 11 to 3 at the Mountain View Alliance Church, a domestic violence action event, and a little more chance to meet you, the new director. Tell us about the event. Um, it's going to be a good event. We have an all-you-can-eat spaghetti feed. Uh -huh. So um, it's $7 to come in the door, or you can just bring some um, unused, like, undergarments. Go to Walmart and pick up a pack of, you know, kids' underwear or um, something. We always need that kind of stuff. Okay. Brand new, of course. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then we're going to have this game. It's called In Her Shoes. Um, and basically what that is is... 
Um, it's a storyline and you get to choose your own adventures. So you'll go through one step and it'll have a scenario there and then it'll give you an option to go seek help or go back or, um, and so it's kind of like the choose your own adventure books. Mm -hmm. And, um, so it really gives you a chance to kind of step in her shoes and, you know, see the things that she's feeling. It gets pretty, um, graphic too. And we have like the whole, um, we have like band-aids and babies and stuff like that. So like each station you go to, if you need medical treatment, you'd go put a band-aid on. So it's just, you know, it kind of makes it more real. Talk to me a little bit about uh, the privacy and security that you would and do offer to folks who call. Okay, so everything, our services are completely confidential. Um, it doesn't matter who comes to the door, even if your mom drops you off and we see her drop you off and there's not a signed release of information if she comes back to the door and asks to speak with you if there's no release then we can't even acknowledge that you're there wow. um, it's very secure we um, our building is secure as well you have to be buzzed in to be able to come in you're free to leave there's no um, buzzers to let you out so you're not in jail it's kind of the backwards effect sure keeping the yeah the perpetrator out right where is the office located? We are at 210 Pacific Court. Um, so it's right off a of railroad. Uh -huh. And the, is it a standard hours of business operation? I know there's phone call. Uh, people mm -hmm. call in all the time, 24 hours a day. But for day-to-day -day business or dropping off donations? Uh -huh. we Yeah, there's... Um, there's a lot of staff available from 8 to 4.30. And then from then on, there's one to two advocates available the rest of the night. So... Tell me about the other event you have coming up in November early on, on the 3rd, the Power of the Purse at the Little Creek. That one's exciting, too. Um, yes, so uh, November 3rd, Power of the Purse, um, we auction off, it's a silent auction, new and gently used purses, um, brand name, it could be Coach, Louis Vuitton, uh -huh. I mean, really nice stuff. Um, I stocked up last year and uh, <laughs> got my Christmas shopping done early um, for my daughter and my niece. But um, it's going to be a great event. We, there's um, also gift baskets. So, you know, uh, men are welcome to come. Uh -huh. um, there's, you know, fix your car gift baskets or uh, that, you know, beer baskets. There's a bunch of different stuff. We will also have a wine pool. That's really fun. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, and then there's food too. So if you want to buy a ticket, it's $25 and you get fed, you get access to all these awesome, beautiful purses. So I'm that's excited. 5 to 7.30 on the 3rd of November. But okay. additionally, tomorrow is the Domestic Violence Action Event and a chance for you to meet Rachel at the Mountain View Alliance Church, 314 J Street in Shelton here, 9584 zip code. It's 11 to 3 again tomorrow. Do you get a lot of uh, support from the uh, churches around the area? Oh, we do. We do, and we couldn't do it without them. We rely heavily on state grants, so... Um, that only pays a portion of what we need. We need, you know, more funds coming in for electricity and, you know, water, um, hygiene items and that sort of thing. So, yeah, very often the churches and just people in the community come and donate. When they find out about us, they're very anxious to give. So, Great organization. Turning awesome. Point Survivor Advocacy Center. Again, online at Turning Point with an E at the end there, dot O-R-G. And the 24-hour hotline again, 877-923-1212. Somebody listening to this right now, uh, in a situation where these uh, services would be warranted, what do you tell them to take that first step? Uh, don't hesitate to give us a call. Uh, make sure you're safe and a safe place to make the call. Um, and safety plan. Make sure that you have your documents. If you want to leave a situation, make sure that you have birth certificates, social security cards, and that stuff. It is all replaceable. Your life is not, but um, it's easier to get started in the process of building a new life if you have those documents already with you. So, Nice. Yeah. Well, the new director for Turning Point, Rachel Elam, here this morning. And again, reminder, tomorrow, 11 to 3, domestic violence action event at the Mountain View Alliance Church. Thanks for coming on. Thank you.